Now in part D, we already know now that the velocity of C was 6 units in the I direction, six, so we'll just say the velocity of C was 6 units in the I direction and lambda in the J direction, but we've worked out that lambda was minus 2, so that's minus 2 in the J direction. And in part D, we've got to show that at the point of interception that the boats were moving with the same speed. So all we've got to do now is just literally find the magnitude of both VC and VB and show that they are exactly the same. So if we start then with the magnitude of VB, so the magnitude of VB, which I write like that, is going to be equal to the square root then of the sum of the squares of the components. That's 2 squared for I and 6 squared for J. And working that out, we've got the square root then of 4 plus 36, square root of 40. And looking at the magnitude of the boat C, the magnitude of the velocity, I should say, of the boat C, we see that that is the square root then of the sum of the squares of its components, so that's 6 squared plus now you don't have to write minus 2 squared, minus 2 is just signifying the direction. The actual magnitude of the J component is 2 units, so that's just 2 squared. And clearly, again, we have the square root of 40. So therefore, you can see that the speeds are the same. So I'll just conclude by writing that in. And that brings us then to the end of part D.